The city is celebrating the 100th birthday of its most famous citizen. We don't even have to name her. Andrea Case joins us now with the celebrations for former mayor Hazel McCallion. 100. That's incredible, Andrea. It, it absolutely is, Michelle. You know, it's 10 decades, 100 years. I was going to try and do the math in terms of months or days, but I didn't have that much time. Yes. Hurricane Hazel is still going strong. The pandemic has forced the way the city would have liked to have recognized this day. Officially, it's on Sunday, but that didn't stop them from doing so today. A happy birthday, dear Hazel. If you look very carefully, you can see Hazel McCallion was back sitting in Mississauga City Council today. But this time, the former councillor and mayor was an honoured guest. Current Mayor Bonnie Crombie was joined by council to celebrate McCallion's 100th birthday. Her gift? Renaming Central Library to the Hazel McCallion Central Library. Thank you for the naming of the library. You know, education and health care has been my two priorities during my entire years as mayor of Streetsville and mayor of Mississauga. Education and health. And I think we're so blessed. McCallion took Mississauga from a town of fruit trees and farmland to Canada's sixth largest and Ontario's third largest city. It was at her kitchen table she planned the city's first hospital, the Credit Valley site. Now she is working to continue bringing the best health care to the city. And even though there is no party, she also is giving a gift. Nobody does it better. Online, a celebration all can attend. A 100-minute video featuring 200 Mississauga-based artists. Yes, we can disagree. There's going to be disagreement. But when the chips are down, we stick together and make it happen. So congratulations and thank you. The library is so important to the future of our children and the future of our city. Library and hospital care are the two great uh, services that we must never neglect. As for the gift Hazel is giving, there is a coffee book, 100 pages, celebrating her entire life, and they're hoping to raise $3 million for the hospital. So far, they've raised $2.5 million. That book is available at Hazel 100 online. Reporting live, I'm Andrea Case.